Last week, we looked into the reasons for the drastic drop in catalytic converter thefts in Hawaii. Everyone we spoke with pointed to new laws that went into effect. But after a little more digging, it turns out that was only part of the answer. Manolo Morales follows up. Catalytic converter thieves ran rampant not just in Hawaii but throughout the country for about three years. State lawmakers made the crime a felony and then required buyers and sellers to document the sale of them. The result, just over 100 thefts reported on Oahu this year, compared to 1,600 and 2,000 the previous two years. But those aren't the only reasons. The price of the precious metals in the catalytic converters, platinum, palladium, and rhodium, has dropped dramatically. Rhodium was trading at $28,000 an ounce, and now I think it's about $4,000 an ounce. So it's significant. Nutter says platinum and palladium also went down, but not as much. Nutter points out that before, most catalytic converters could be sold for about a few hundred dollars each. Now the going rate is closer to $50. Nutter adds that thieves went after the Toyota Prius the most. The Prius was probably one of the most expensive ones. Um, they had basically the, the rhodium in it. It was the, had the most rhodium and they were going for about $1,000 uh, a converter. He says now they probably go for about $350. Recyclers say the combination of making the crime a felony, having to document the sale and getting less money for the parts has made the crime less appealing. For a low price, why go to prison for five years? I mean, it, it, uh, it's hard for them to sell them now. Uh, we don't really buy from the public anymore. As to why the prices have gone down so much, recyclers say the current prices are actually closer to normal. They skyrocketed in part during the pandemic because the mines were forced to close, causing chaos in the market. But like other markets, there are many factors that can influence it. It's always going to fluctuate. Um, you have your ups and downs, and it's just uh, you just have to go with the flow until something happens, and um, depending on how the market reacts. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.